Welcome to YouTubers Love Excel number 92. Hey, if you want to download this workbook and follow along, click on my YouTube channel, then click on my college website link, and you can download the workbook YouTubers Love Excel 87 to 92. Hey, this YouTuber had uh, day by day results, and I just made this little table here, and there was a success and failure column. And uh, he wanted to calculate uh, success failure rate. But well, let's just learn about the average function because really here's one, two, three, four, five, six. Now we could, you know, go alt equals to sum to add those up and then come at the down at the end here and type count uh because we want to count words, right? So it would count one, two, seven days here, and then it would add up one, two, three, four, five. So six divided by seven. Um, and 85. But guess what? We can just use the average function. We don't have to mess around with that right there. Equals average and highlight this right here. Why does it work? Because you know, if we added up 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, and the average function didn't look at 0, it would be 1. Um, the, uh, 6 divided by 6 would be 1, but average function sees that 0 and uses it in the calculation. So in the denominator, the top part of the fraction, it adds up and gets 6, but in the bottom part, it counts all of these, including that 0. So 6 divided by 7 is 8.857143. Now what happens if we were to click in this cell and hit delete? If you leave it blank, uh, the average function does not see that cell and doesn't use it in its calculation. So that's how to do success rate using the average, not so that's how to use the average function and given that you know that zeros are used in the calculation and blanks are not. See you next trick.